Today, I'm going to show you a different way to use distortion. Turn any sound into an absolute monster in less than three seconds. Because we already know that it can be used to destroy things. But what if I told you it had more use cases than that? Like on a slow ballad or a chill song, for instance. I'm intrigued. This is Unison Mangler, and like every plugin that I tend to own, it is very simple to use. Unlike other plugins that I've used that have tons of knobs and buttons that you have to figure out, Unison Mangler only has five. Four knobs. That's it. I'm gonna check out the loop pack to begin with. This song is called Tory Pines. Now let me add some quick drums first. The most obvious way to use a plugin like this would be on something like a guitar. With this bass, I wanted it to sound more funky, and so I gave it a slight amount of mangle and destroy. Here's the difference. The next most common instrument I would use this on would be my drums. My reason for compressing the drums with a distortion like this is always the same. It's more punchy, it's more present, and it definitely adds more character. Side note, but you'll also notice how the beat that I have now is different than the one that I started with. This is just because I like to follow the wave of creativity. I'm gonna do the same thing here and add a bit of mangle, destroy it a tad, and I'll leave the rest unchanged. Now I want to bring up the presence of these vocals first and foremost, so I'm going to go ahead and use Mangler here. Now for those who know me, I love a good stereo spread on my vocals, so I tend to add a chorus effect, and for that, I'll use Expand. So in addition to adding Mangler to these vamp vocals to give more character, I also decided to make it very repetitious and memorable. Follow me, follow, 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 foll
follow, 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 follow me. Follow. I also made sure I added Mangler to each and every one of these vocals. And I processed them in a way that has a little bit of brightness on the edge. This is really something that you can choose to use how you wish to use it. I honestly went into this studio session trying to make something more gritty and more harsh, but naturally, creativity brought me here, and I was still able to make use of this distortion. Now, if you like what this plugin is capable of, I've left a link in the description for you to check it out for your own self. And as with any video that I make and any software that I do a video on, I encourage the highest amount of creativity, openness, and freedom as you create. Follow me, follow, 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 follow